Well, good morning, Year 13. Um, here I'm going to show you how to calculate um, an urban density index using Google Earth. So first of all, obviously, you have to locate your area, in this case, Berkeley, California, and click Search. And once you're there, you get your screen with that particular area. Now, in this case, we wanted to set out a transect running from here, the Bay of San Francisco, up into the Berkeley Hills. And the idea, as you know, was to look at urban density and how that changed as you went up into the hills and also to see how if there was any relationship with the air pollution in terms of particulate matter. Okay, so, so I set this out and um, it's six, about six kilometers long. And then along this particular transect, we would set out quadrats every half a kilometer long. Now, obviously, it would be impossible to go and do that at the place, so we can use do it very easily using Google Earth. Now, as this is just a demonstration for you, we've just set up one quadrat here, which we'll pop in to have a look at. So we'll zoom in. You can see here, nice suburban area in Berkeley. Um, and to set out both the transect and the quadrat, we use the ruler here, which I'm sure you've all had a go with. Um, now, just to show you how to do this, this quadrat that I've set out here on the transect is 50 meters by 50 meters. Now, to do to actually set it out and also to measure any length, we use the ruler. We click at one end and then the other. Um, now, that's not easy, as exact as you're going to do it, <laughs> and it should be 50 meters, which is shown here. Um, and you can easily you can either save it if you want to, you can give it any name you want, or in this case we don't need that because it's just a measurement, so we'll clear it. So this is 50 meters by 50 meters by 50 meters. Now, in this quadrat, we need to compare the areas which are built up, and we can define that by saying those areas which have buildings and roads and areas of concrete. And we're gonna to wanna to compare that with vegetated areas. So any areas that look like parks, trees, woods, farmland, anything that's green is the way to identify it here. Now I expect you can always already think of some limitations here because of course there are very small areas, little gardens, which it's quite hard to pick out. Um, now to do this I'm just going to close that down and I'm going to zoom in a little tiny bit more because the further you get in the easier it is to do. Now the easiest way in this particular quadrat to work out how much Built, air, built up area there is in there is to just look at the vegetated area because it's a slightly smaller area and it's in one area. So we're just going to measure this. So using our ruler tool again, I'm going to measure roughly the square of this area. So along the top there, it's 30.35. Um, okay, and then from this side to here, sorry, this side to here, it's about 26.77. Okay, so 30 by 26. Now, obviously, when you do this, you're going to be much more exact than me. Now, to work out that area, I'm going to show you a worked example that we already have. Um, if we can just go straight to that. Yes, we can. So here's the sheet that you have, and it's the worked example of how to work out the urban density index. Now, as I already said, using this same quadrat we worked out, we've measured this area. Okay, so, as you can see here, the vegetated area, we times 30 times 26. Now, I've rounded that because I just want this to be really simple as an example, but you are not gonna do that. You're gonna use the decimal places and be much more exact. Now, in this case, you times those together, you get 780 meters squared. Now, to work out the UDI, so that's our vegetated area only, it's total area of buildings divided by the total area of that quadrat. So the area of buildings we need to work out. Now, the total quadrat area is 50 times 50, 2,500 meters squared. So to find the built up area, we need to take the quadrat area and take away that vegetated area of 780 meters squared and we get a result of 1720 meters squared. Okay, great. So then to calculate the UDI, we take that built up area and we divide it by the whole area we're looking at and we get a number of 0 0.688. Now, 
0 0.688. If the most densely packed area, an area that's totally built up with houses and roads, is 1. An area that's much more is full of vegetation will be zero, nearer to zero. So 0 0.5 is about half and half, so in this case this is a moderate urban density. And if we look back at that area we can see, yes, this is a moderate urban density. It's got plenty of parks and also um, gardens in this area. Okay, so now you need to, you're going to use this in your own project later on, so you can come back and look at this screencast at any time. Good luck!